hey guys what's up happy valentine's day and welcome back to our channel just megan and rodney i have a couple errands that i need to do today i need to go to meyer get some lunches for work some pop and i'm looking for that fruity pebble coffee creamer see if we can find that then i need to swing by my dad's pick something up come home and I figured I would try to be a good good type of youtuber and bring you guys along we'll see how that happens I'm just I fell out of the habit years ago with taking the camera and vlogging outside of the house and I'm gonna try to swing back into it today so you coming with me Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to go get dressed. I feel like maybe putting on some mascara today. But who knows. I just feel like looking a little better than what I usually do. But I don't know if you guys seen this, if I've showed you guys or not. I showed it on my Instagram stories. But before Christmas, I got this zebra head right here. I freaking love it. So I had Rodney the other day hang it up and put this shelf here. This is not going to stay here, but just to fill it, I just put that there. But this, I love it. It's like pops out from the wall, if you can see. So my idea is I want to go back to the store that I got this from. They had one more. It was a display model. And I want to get it and get a shelf to put it on this side as well. Then I want to take this picture and put it over here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff yet. And then Rodney also hung, <laughs> we're just spinning around the house, this picture back up because he said the wall looked too bare. So I said we'll hang it back up. So we did. So yes, we have zebras all throughout the house if you didn't know I'm obsessed but I'm gonna go get dressed and we're gonna start moving around so let's go
I get are on sale. Instead of a dollar, they're 88 cents. So I'm just gonna get a variety and go from there. So I got a few clips, not many. There was so many people in there. And because I haven't vlogged in public in so long, it's kind of awkward, but I did the best I could. Now I'm gonna go to my dad's real quick and then back home. Short day today, short day, I love it. I haven't been to JCPenney in a minute, so we're gonna go in here, see what they got. Okay, so like I was telling you guys in the car, I picked up some of that La Crocs, La Croix drink, sparkling water. This is the peach pear. We're going to try it. If I like it, then I will continue to get it. So let's try it. Let's see how we like it. it. Smells peachy and peary. We'll see. Too bad. I'm, I don't really like sparkling water, but it's better than pop. Zero calories, zero fat, zero all that stuff. To me, it just tastes like regular water. The flavor is not really there, but it's kind of warm right now. So I would imagine with it being colder. It would probably taste better. It's not too bad though. First initial taste kind of caught me off guard. But it's not really that bad. I'm going to have to try a couple other flavors because maybe this just isn't my flavor. But it's really not that bad. I could learn to like it. So we shall see. Look at all this goodness Rodney just warmed up. We got some smoke ribs there, a stuffed cabbage roll, some greens. I want to show you guys the portion control cups that I was talking about in the previous clip. So these are the cups that you get in there. You get a cup for fruit, a cup for veggies, a third of a fourth cup of protein, a half a cup of carb, one third of a cup of fat, then you get two tablespoons of seeds and then a cup for faith as well which is cute so my idea of this would be when we eat dinner I'm going to measure out what it is that we make and base my plate off of the portion sizes of these containers I have my own little portion plan idea of what I want to do in my head I'm not following a specific plan I'm just kind of doing what fits right to me but do want to use these cups as a way of portion control when eating so I'm not overeating but I have enough so these are the little cups I'm so excited about them and I'm so excited to start implementing this into the way I eat 
and using these and getting myself in the habit of eating smaller portion meals. Today, can I see that box for a minute, babe, please? We are uh, going to be doing over the course of some days, however long it takes us, to put our first one of the Bob Ross puzzles together. If you didn't see the Dollar Tree haul, I'll link it up here. But I got six puzzles. So I had already started putting it together and then Rodney was like, you should film it. And I was like, yes, yes I should. But it's going to take a little bit of time because I'm the type of puzzle person that likes to do a little bit at a time, leave it out, analyze it. So it might take a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do is just as it gets bigger and it comes more together, I'm just going to have some clips of the progression so I already have a clip for that now but I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick and show you guys how much it has gotten done since what you've seen last and uh, Rodney just sat down to work on some too so I guess this is gonna be a project that we do I'm just bored. Together, but, and it's fine. That's, you know, when I was a kid, we would do puzzles and my grandma would put it out on the card table and whoever, whenever could work on the puzzle as something to do or whatever. So I'm enjoying that. So this is how much that, that this is how much that has been done so far. Okay. So this is how much that has gotten done. I know it's not a lot, but it is progress i think the clip that you just seen you've just seen me putting the outside around first finding the outside and putting that all together and then like i said five ten minutes you look at the pieces place a couple move about your day rodney's over there putting all the pieces on a flat pan so we don't lose the pieces i like to have the pieces kind of scattered everywhere it gives me an idea of how many pieces are left what I'm working with, I like to separate the pieces into sections. So we got like some bottom pieces here going into the trees on the sides, into the sky. And we got like the sky up here and those, those are all the middle pieces I'm assuming. But we're just gonna keep working and we'll just keep updating you. All right guys, so I think that's gonna be the end of this little Valentine's Day vlog today. I will insert a picture in here somewhere of what Rodney got me for Valentine's Day. I hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to keep your stripes. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.